Hi, I'm Colin with the Urban Food Forest, and today I'm going to be showing you our mini system. Our flood and drain mini aquaponics system works great on back porches, lanai's, balconies, or even inside with a grow light. It comes in either black or white and has the option for educational panels, which are great for schools and other academic purposes. The mini system has about two feet of grow space and can grow many varieties of plants. Here we have growing Swiss chard, basil, kale, thyme, cabbage, and a variety of other plants. On the bottom, there's a 13 gallon fish tank, which can hold up to about one pound of fish. When shipped to you, the mini system comes completely installed in the box, and it will only take a few simple steps to get your mini system in working order. First, you need to find an area that has a suitable amount of sun. Don't worry, a bit of foliage will not hurt anything. Also, when finding a home for your system, be mindful for the need of electric and the ability to fill up the water when it is low. One thing the system does not include is the grow media for the plants on the top tank. We recommend using Hydrotone, which is expanded clay pellet. They can be bought at almost any hydroponics store and are easy to use. One bag will be more than enough. But before you put the rock in, we recommend cleaning the rock. That way, no debris gets in the water with the fish. It is also important to make sure that the rock guard surrounding the bell siphon is flush with the bottom of the tank before putting the clay pebbles in. Otherwise, the clay pebbles will be sucked up into the siphon and cause problems. Once you have the system where you want it and the rock in the top, all you need to do now is fill the water up and put some fish in. Some nice goldfish from the aquarium will be fine. Most aquarium fish will work though, and now all you need is plants. As I said before, you can grow many varieties of plants in the system. It's all about personal preference. We recommend doing weekly water tests to make sure the water chemistry is healthy for the fish and the plants. This is simple to do and can save you from a lot of trouble. Please see the instruction manual for more information on water chemistry and what kind of water to put into your system. Now you are ready to start your aquaponics journey. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at www.theurbanfoodforest.com.